And just like that, less than 10 minutes, we've got everything working in the plugin. Hi guys, welcome to this video for the Meta Wardrobe daily update. In this video, we have a tutorial on how you can add old MetaHuman clothing to the new MetaHuman plugin. So um, before we get started, uh, in this episode, we have two new outfits. That is this outfit. Um, it will be in the MetaHuman plugin and it will also be available for Unreal Engine 5.4 um, and above. And our second outfit is uh, this one here. Um, this sci-fi outfit was added for the female Meta Human body last week on Monday and now we have a male version of the same sci-fi outfit as well. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, get started with the tutorial. So yeah, um, this is the tall, medium weight female body, our legacy bodies for MetaHuman. Um, this is what this clothing was designed for and I'm basically showing you how to transfer it to the plugin in less than 10 minutes. Um, our last tutorial was quite long, about an hour and five minutes, but I discovered a way to do it in less than 10 minutes. You don't even have to adjust the body to fit uh, older uh, rather than your MetaHuman bodies. Okay. Um, the reason why we adjusted is because in 5.6 preview, uh, the method I'm going to show you wasn't actually available. If it was available, it was not working in 5.6 preview, but I got it to work uh, in 5.6. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to add your um, legacy metahuman, okay? or your older metahumans from 5.5. Um, I don't think the metahumans from below 5.5 work because there is no micro migrate button when you try to add them so I recommend you use a metahuman that is 5.5 um, and when you're downloading it you must download it in cinematic complete quality <coughs> okay so if your but download button will be available there then uh, you will download it and uh, once it's finished you have an add button available and you click the add button Choose the option import and migrate. Import and migrate because we want to have access to the body so that we can uh, transfer the clothing. Okay, I'm not going to import and migrate now because I already have this, but uh, once you've done that, what it will look like is uh, you'll get this metahuman character asset. You also get your regular metahuman folder with your metahuman blueprint there. But what we want is uh, the F tall normal weight uh, body. Okay, I've just restarted my editor to conserve memory. Okay, but you will have this body here. Okay, so keep that open because we'll be coming back to this body uh, multiple times. So close, down our, close down our bridge. And let's create a folder where, that we're going to work in. I'll name this folder Tutorial 2 because I already have a tutorial folder there. And let's create a uh, new cloth asset. It's a fantasy outfit I'm working on, so I'm going to name this CA Fantasy Outfit. Okay, save that, open it up, and before we do anything in here, let us uh, go to... Let's go to our uh, outfit asset. Okay, so I'm going to open up my outfit asset. Uh, it's a skeleton mesh. You can... Uh, Find your own outfit, skeleton mesh, or if you have the meta wardrobe, you can use this one. So anyway, uh, the outfit is SK Fantasy Outfit, all right? So I'm going to leave it highlighted in my content browser there. I'm going to make a new node here. I'm going to call it import, uh, rather skeleton mesh import, I'll add that here. And uh, with it highlighted over here, I'm going to add it uh, to the skeleton mesh import uh, asset in the details panel on the side there. Okay, the UVs will show up over here. That's how you know it's working. And uh, I've already uh, skinned and rigged this asset, so I'm not going to transfer skin weights. If you have not done that, just uh, uh, connect it to your transfer skin weights here. 
but uh, I'm going to skip this part and I'm going to connect these to my skeletal mesh import okay and it will use the skinning information and the rigging information that is already in this output okay so once that is uh, connected there I'm done with this blueprint I don't need to come back to this blueprint again I can of course test it to see that everything is working that would be a good idea especially if you had to transfer uh, skin skin weights but uh, I'm gonna add this body okay this is my metahumans body I just left it open as I suggested before okay and I'm gonna add that to the preview on the skeleton mesh section there in the details panel and now we have a preview I'm gonna play an animation to make sure that everything is working and I can see that everything is working so I'm gonna save all of this and I'm gonna close it down and uh, I'm going to make a new asset a new outfit asset in my tutorial 2 folder uh, type outfit and click on outfit asset I'll save this as fantasy outfit so OA fantasy just like that this is the most important part choose resizable outfit okay save that I have done this before I made the previous tutorials but it never worked I guess it's because I was working in an old version of Unreal Engine or it could have just been the outfit itself that I was using that wasn't okay but uh, I'm gonna choose CA fantasy outfit which we just worked on I'm gonna add it to um, my sized outfit source so click on sized outfit source add a new element open up the index and add that outfit there it's gonna appear in your viewport here okay um, you can see some uh, errors there uh, with the LOD and some errors uh, appeared on the side over here um, don't mind that it does th this error does not appear in the creator plugin I believe this is because of uh, the bones so uh, once you export this if you do have this error what you should do is uh, you should disable the LODs and it will work fine otherwise you have to create your own LODs that support the um, the bone reduction in the in the LOD okay so anyway let's move on let's go back to our F tour normal weight body let's find it in the content browser let's come back to our fantasy outfit asset and let's add it to our source body parts okay so with it highlighted in the content browser click on the use selected asset from content browser and we're going to create a new meta human and this is going to work for that meta human okay so let's find this okay we're back in our tutorial folder let us type wardrobe item rather meta human wardrobe item uh, let's name it fantasy wardrobe item uh, so that's wi underscore fantasy outfit I'll just leave it like that let's open it up and let's add our OA fantasy to the principal outfit there and let's use the metahuman outfit pipeline save that and basically we're done um, I think that only took us about well, exactly 10 minutes okay so let's add a new metahuman and see if this works um, type metahuman in the search there and create a metahuman character this new metahuman I'll save that open it up I won't bother naming it you can name it whatever you want okay we've got our new metahuman here now let's zoom out a little bit so this male is a little bit more rather this body is a little bit more male let's see if this clothing will work for this for this body structure scroll down all the way to the outfit and clothing under the hair and clothing tab let's uh, drag our wardrobe item fantasy into this section double click on it to see if it works so it's assembling the character preview there and there we go it works save that let's try and adjust the body let's go to body model and uh, let's increase the femininity so that this is a female
and as you can see the clothing has adjusted to fit okay um, we do have a tiny little bit of overlap in on the neck over there okay but uh, you can fix that very very easily with the skeletal mesh editing tools if you look at my previous tutorial on uh, uh, transferring any metahuman uh, rather transferring any clothing to any Unreal Engine char character you see how to use those skeletal mesh editing tools to fix a little issue like this but especially most outfits will not have uh, neck areas like this so you don't have to worry about it as you can see the rest of the body is absolutely perfect okay so um, yeah, we are basically done. Let's try and reduce the fat there so we're a little bit of a, a skinnier body and see how that weight works. And our neck issue is even gone, okay? So that has more to do with the body fat. So yeah, guys, this is the process. Thank you for watching. Um, our last tutorial was way too long. Uh, and it turns out it we, wasn't necessary to do all the rest of that stuff. But at least we learned a few new skills uh, in that video on skeletal mesh editing. Um, I will be adding this uh, outfit for 5.6 for the Meta Human Creator to uh, the Meta Wardrobe. Um, I'm not sure if it will be a wardrobe item or if it will be just a regular uh, Unreal Engine project. The issue I am having with uh, creating a wardrobe item is that it all turns into a uh, basically a blob as you can see here in this uh, video I'm playing okay uh, the reason I know the reason why it's turning into a blob it's because uh, uh, basically the meta human manager that creates our, me our meta human packages requires us to have a mesh in the meta human package folder uh, before it can package it okay and uh, i have to disconnect this mesh from all the other meta human assets from the meta human common common folder okay but once i do that um, this becomes the result uh, the blob i just showed you from from this uh, video here okay um, if i do figure out how to fix the issue i'm having with the mesh becoming a blob then I will be adding all the outfits uh, in the um, in the Meta Wardrobe to the Meta Human Creator plugin. Okay, so otherwise, uh, I think that's it for this video. Um, if I upload a regular Unreal Engine project file for you to download, you will find it in this download section over here, uh, and you can download it uh, from here. But I will name it Fantasy Outfit or something like MetaHuman Plugin Outfits, uh, where I'll be adding everything that you need to use some of the outfits for the Meta, meta Wardrobe with the MetaHuman uh, uh, Plugin. But otherwise, that's it for today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.